So, what's best for the world? <laughs> I can tell you what the U.S. thinks is best for the U.S. <laughs> The economic recession has now replaced terror concerns by nearly two to one. The economy and the war on terror, you're essentially talking about one and the same. Really? How's that, Tom? It's obvious, simple. The only thing obvious, simple, is what gets the man reelected. To what end? What end would you like? Starting with the obvious and the war on terror. Does the government, do you actually want to end the war on terror? Why can't a politician make for a much better world? The government, politicians, we don't want peace. If we were to review the foreign aid and the money spent. Foreign aid is only a very small percent of the budget. Plutonium is a very small part of the atomic bomb. Clearly, even more and more so, we are all connected. Everything affects everything else. What you're saying, though, is the government's missed its mark. It's the people's government. The government would have to intelligently consider a paradigm shift. It's just part of the way it is. Yes, but even at least part of the way it is is determined by us, isn't it? Call it comprehensively applied defense. Oh, how would that work? Are oh, you sure you want to rock the boat? The boat's already been rocked. People all over the world are now connected, and the problem has always been governments. That's your paradigm shift. Come on, what's this got to do with us getting Donald reelected? Why don't we just consider this at least hypothetically? Shall we go inside? <laughs>